Blessings, fam. It's your boy, Zay P. Zay P, the I am. I am that I am, as you are that you are, for we are all that we are. From the individual to the many, the many creates the all, and the all is the one. So, with that said, I want to thank everybody who, who has returned to check out today's new video. I want to thank every all of the new people who are checking it out today. Appreciate y'all. Be sure to go and like the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash I am dot ZP or like subscribe to the YouTube page, which is ZP the I am. That is me. That is me when I am connected with my I am presence with my higher self. And I just wanted to pop on very briefly today because I'm feeling very connected with the energy. Um, and I did receive a question recently where somebody was asking me, what is the I am? What is this ZP, the I am stuff? They wanted a kind of a breakdown as far as what I mean, as far as referring to myself as the I am. Um, what am I talking about with regards to channeling all of this energy talk, the spirit talk? So I'm going to pop on, do a really brief video if I can, because those of you who have been watching can see, I might like. I might tend to ramble a bit, but we're going to try to make this as quick as possible. So, ZP, the I am, is me, like I said. The I am presence is the energy of source. It's the energy of consciousness. It is the underlining energy that informs and makes the flatbed for the collective consciousness. Um, with that said, it is a part of the continuum, a part of the the ever-expanding, ever-flowing tapestry that is God, that is God's source. It is that energy. It is just a particular aspect within of that overall energy, which is focused on the soul individuation and acknowledgement of self of source so with that said ZP the I am is this particular individual's connection and expression of that I am energy we all have access to the I am energy Zay has taken the step of making the effort to try and embody it as consistently as possible within his everyday life now, the thing about that is when I say try, try is an effortless thing. An effortless thing is not the intention. That is not the goal. That is not what we strive toward. We strive to be. You are your higher self. When we effort to try to access and attain that potentiality that is the higher self, we, in a sense, separate it from us. We are looking at that over there whereas I am over here and therefore we distance the possibility to connect. You distance the possibility to connect to your own self and that is insensical, illogical. So the idea is to just be and in the being, being connected with oneself, in tune with one's own energies, with one's own feelings and emotions, then we are able to express our own individuality in a way that allows us to really embody whom we are, that which we are on a higher level, the I am energy. So this is what the I am is about. And this is where Zay is coming from when I speak in the I am. Now, at times I might jump more directly into a particular energy, whether it's the I am or whether I'm feeling embraced by another particular energy, another particular essence that is an aspect or fractal or partial of the overall source of the overall tapestry that is. I may step further into that or I may step away. And when it is me, just Zay, Zay P, you'll hear me speak kind of casual, a lot, it seems that a lot of times my mannerisms may change or as I step further into the energy, I get lost into the, intention, the intentionality of 
what message I am conveying. I get lost into the spirit of the energy, which is providing love and guidance as these energies are aspects of the overall source and the overall oneness. All that is channeled is typically for the highest or greatest good. I mean, say I've made the intention and done my work to not want to bring in negative or dark energies. I also have a whole nother perspective about that that is separate from this conversation. So I want to stay on topic with this. So in regards to bringing in negative and dark energies, well, typically when I do things like my energy healing work or um, other types of healing modalities or even just channeling where I will mix in some energy healing work, experiencing dark or negative energies or blocks or anything like that is typically call to do some action, some sort of work to resolve such issues, to kind of unblock or illuminate in the darkness. So that is always possible to work with such energies. Such energies are not always quote unquote a bad thing as far as they're out to get us and destroy us and that be the end of it. Any particular dark energies we tend to attract in our life is for a greater reason that may be beyond our present moment understanding. But that does not mean that without acknowledgement, we cannot work on that. Now, I'm not sure if that made sense because that sounded like a triple negative in my ear, but basically, um, basically that means that once you acknowledge the darker energy, it is possible to work with it, to remove it, to heal oneself from it. Of many times, identifying a darker energy may be um, a huge step forward in resolving that particular issue and resolving that particular dark energy. But the point of the matter being that you have to see a problem before you can realize the problem needs to be addressed. And so occasionally, if things like that would come up, there are many, many ways to deal with such issues. I am not um, a magnet or <laughs> set to the polarity of negativity. I am set to the polarity of service to others, which is why I do this work. Although I may occasionally cast self-judgment on myself because woo, it seems so woo-woo. But when the truth comes and, and hits you and resonates with you in your heart, it's very hard to resist and it's very hard to deny. And it's always very hard to deny oneself where one's passion lies is what resonates as one's purpose. The only issue is, is that in this world that we've created, a lot of times our passion and what may in fact be our purpose is often seen or taken as frivolous. It is seen as something that is not necessarily conducive to the overall goal of perhaps capitalism or per the overall goal of whatever particular industry that you might be in or the overall goal of collective mass consciousness. Um, in this day and age, we've created a society where uh, commerce, capitalism, trade, business, we put those up on pedestals above things like spirituality, compassion, love, etc. So coming down this particular path can be a bit daunting and a bit scary. Um, and it takes a lot of work on oneself, a lot of self-acceptance, a lot of self-love in order to be able to step up to the plate and own this experience. And then it is a whole nother level to put yourself out there. So um, bear with me as I work through this process um, if I occasionally seem unsure of myself because um, I know I am not perfect. I know I am a very fallible human being. Everybody in my day-to-day -day life could probably attest to that. <laughs> um, but the effort and the intention is to continually embody my higher self and continually embody this I am presence and stay in this knowing in this balanced place where I can be my brightest light 
and I can inspire and I can engage with and I can inform and I can guide others back to themselves, back to source, back to love. So that is what the I am and this whole channeling thing is about. Well, I didn't even get into the channeling aspects of it, but the I am being the main energy that I tend to call in, I wanted to explain a little bit about that. Now, as far as the channeling thing, I've been on this channeling journey for the last year, like I said, and it has been one heck of a ride. I recently, within the last year, took a course, a channeling course to really help deepen my own connection with spirit. And what came out of that was um, the ability to really distinguish and understand the distinct differences between energies. Whereas before I was pulling in energies, I was pulling in healing energies and I was getting divine guidance as far as my healing sessions and things of that nature. And as far as my creativity, inspired creations, my writings, things of that nature, um, I was not actually distinguishing different energies, different polarities, different aspects and fractals. After going through this course and doing the work and doing the work, I've become much more adept at really distinguishing between the energies and being able to express and communicate the guidance, the knowledge and the insight that is coming in through me. It is coming in through me. It is coming in to me for my own sake and for the sake of the masses. But I am doing such work. It initially started with me. This is all about, it's all been a process of self-love. And through the process of self-love, I've discovered my connection to self, to source. And in that discovering my connection to self and to source is my connection to the all and is my expression of self-love through love for all others because now I finally stand in the place of understanding oneness and understanding the connectivity that we all have to each other and to all things so stepping into these gifts these spiritual gifts these six senses such as channeling, such as clairvoyance, the inner sight, such as clairaudience, the ability to hear, hear spiritually, hear frequencies that are protect, um, projected at higher levels, um, the ability, clairsentience, the ability to feel, um, feeling more than just the fifth, the fifth, uh, the third dimensional sense of feeling physically, but feeling emotionally, feeling through energetic. Um, projections, the way people are being, the vibes that they're giving off, all of that, all sorts of stimuli in the air around us, um, in interactions between, as far as communications go, as far as all sorts of nuanced vibration. So, that said, I apologize, I have to pace myself because I can lose myself. Um, but that said, in that sense of connecting and understanding these different energies and vibrations, I'm able to connect with the mass and understand that the masses are me. And all that I perceive is reflections of me and what's going on internally as well. So that said, doing this type of work, developing these senses, developing channeling, this channeling gift and channeling ability has really allowed me to go within myself and learn more about myself, divine and intuit my own insights and guidance, and be of service and value to many, many other people than I have been able to in um, my previous experience as... <laughs> an energetic light worker. <laughs> so that said, there's great value here with the channeling. And 
with regard to the channeling course, the cosmic channeling course, which is the course that I took this past year, which has really opened up my skills and my abilities to channel. Um, I am so honored to be brought back as a teacher for uh, future sessions. The next session being the end of this year, actually a few weeks away, October 15th with Rebecca McCann. So I really wanted to share my experience of what this class, the course that I've taken, of what all of the work that I've done and what all of this can bring to you on a personal level. The amount of truth and wisdom that I am able to, to distill in my life every day now, not even just from that experience, that one experience alone, it is a consistent, evolving effort a consistent unfolding out of that experience and I wish I would never have reached or attained or maybe not as fast had I not taken the course so there's great value here and I am so honored to be brought in as a teacher to share my experiences and insights with those who are also walking this particular journey um, if you are interested in taking this course this year um, in October. October 15th is the six weeks course. Be sure to, uh, I'm going to drop information in the description below as far as on YouTube or if this is on Facebook, there'll be information in the post of how you can reach out and enroll for the class and um, you'll get a chance to work with me, ZP the I am, and work with yourself, discover your own I am essence. Um, and really be blessed by the gifts of people like Rebecca McCann who started this course and many of the other, other wonderful teachers who are in this course. Um, I wanna thank you all for again, supporting, showing so much love, welcoming me in and um, accepting me as I am, really seeing the truth and um, showing love and appreciation for the value and the love that I am giving off because it is very validating, very affirming, and puts me in the position to want to continue doing this work. So, again, hit that Facebook page if you're interested in following me for more. Facebook.com forward slash I am dot ZP. Uh, like and subscribe on YouTube, ZP the I am. Um, I will be back with more videos in the future. And uh, like I said before, all of my sessions, the live readings that I do weekly will all happen over on the Facebook page. So I hope to see you all on this journey. I really hope to see many of y'all on in the uh, chat, the Cosmic Channeling course that's happening in a few weeks. And um, peace and love. Many blessings to all. Namaste.